remember each and every equation can be solved right you are solving it using a particular algorithm now typically in um, fluid dynamics or in cfd as i mentioned you are using you, at the end of the day you are you are having a linear system for which you use an iterative solver like uh, gaussidel fe schemes basically keeps track of the uh, not keeps track but it basically lists the interpolation schemes or the numerical schemes that are using for the simulation and if we solutions basically keeps track of your solution method yes and what i was saying is in cfd at the end of the day you have a linear system that you have to solve to compute quantities but more importantly how are you solving the equations what is the order in which you are solving the equations well that is the problem of pressure velocity coupling so you might see this term in uh, the literature you might see the term in while, while using ansys fluent or anything like that and there are just three methods for it very commonly used method pimple simple and piso right all these methods have their own advantages and disadvantages this method basically says all these methods are basically trying to say, solve the problem when i am solving the momentum equations my velocity values should be in such a way that my continuity equation is satisfied that's basically it because your continuity equation remember does not have pressure in it so how are you solving for pressure right so this is the problem of pressure velocity coupling there are three methods piso simple and uh, pimple these are the most popularly used methods so that is included in fv solution okay now what do i do next the first thing when you're playing with open form don't take it a bit light and you'll have a folder called run folder which contains all of your uh, files so if i go to cavity you can see that my zero folder is there my constant folder is there my system folder is there but i have these other files also why because i've already run the simulation so what i can do is i can first uh, how did i do this so it's quite easy so let me first delete my cavity folder right rm minus r would basically delete a directory and then i'm going to copy cp minus r from foam tutorials so foam tutorials is a directory that has been already created and i'm going to be looking at the incompressible flow module and then i'm going to be taking icofoam cavity and then there's another folder called cavity and i'm pasting it as cavity demo for workshop i'm just going to paste it here ls and if i go inside the di directory again oops look, permission denied hmm okay just ignore the step that i uh, i was just changing permissions i had some issues with permissions so here i have three folders i have a zero folder a constant folder the system folder remember when you see that that means you are inside the case setup you should be able to run the case setup what is the first thing i need to do well the case is already set up so i need to first generate the mesh to generate the mesh i can type in block capital mesh m is capital when i do that i'm going to get all these commands and it's going to generate the meshes so my mesh generation process is complete the next thing that i need to do is i need to call the solver what is the solver well in this case it's icofoam so when i do it it is basically solving and it is giving me all the uh, you can see that it's printing out a lot of numbers it prints the current number it's it basically says what is the solver output uh, can uh, can you check the mesh quality here uh, yes there is actually Uh, uh, a utility called check mesh in this case it's a very simple mesh you can look at a, the utility called check mesh you can use that and check its quality in this case it's a 2d case mesh mesh, mesh is purely cartesian so it should be very very high quality all right <clears throat> so i've created the mesh so far any questions till this point mesh is automatic uh yes because we are defining it block by block i'll i'll talk about that what model are we mesh meshing that's a great question uh, and hari i know that the workflow that i'm following is kind of counterintuitive but i'll i'll get to that currently we are just having we are meshing a rectangular domain that's all, that's what we are doing i'll be explaining about the problem next right so i've created the mesh and the command that i used is called as block mesh and then i've run the simulation also and i the command that i used is icofoam that is the name of the solver how do i know the name of the solver well if you go to the system folder 
there should be a file called as control direct. And if you go, go to that file, it says application. The application name is Icophone. That's how I know that that is the name of the solver. And it is consistent with the fact that our tutorial was stored inside the folder Icophone. So open form is very consistent with respect to these type of things. Okay, so I've run the simulation. Now let me just post process this so that I can look at what is the domain. 